This is the first time I've ever gotten to hold all those four things in my hand, you know, scaled down versions. It was very cool. You guys have been very curious in the comments about 3D printed stuff that represents large items and I'd never be able to feel the whole thing at once, right? Scott from Australia, he's a subscriber to the channel. He saw your comments and sent us a handful of 3D printed objects. Ben's gonna hand me each object one at a time and I'm gonna examine it and see if I can guess what it is. Now, if I guess incorrectly, Ben will give me a couple of clues so I can have another chance to see if I can get it right. All right, here we go. First object. All right, let's see. Ooh, this is tall. I didn't think this is gonna be so tall. Well, this is wild. Okay, so it's got a couple of like long sort of square columns that go all the way up. Now they change about two inches up into slightly different columns, but they're still the same. And they right up here do the same thing again, but there's only one top. There's only just this one top bit. Wow, what is that? Oh, but they seem to be connected too, don't they? They're not two separate columns. I'm thinking this might be like a building or a structure. I'm gonna say, you know what I'm gonna say? I'm gonna say this is the, I don't know why, but I'm gonna just say it's the Empire State Building. I don't know why, but I just feel like it could be like a building, you know, with the two sort of, ah, but the sides are kind of throwing me off here a little bit as well. And the bottom part here, and this top thing though, I can't, this is, this is really difficult. I'm gonna go with my original thought and say it's a like a giant tall building. I'll say it's Empire State. And like that might be a TV antenna up at the top. I don't know. I'll say that's Empire, New York City. Final answer. Hey, no fooling. Hey, this is cool, man. I like this. Let's try another one. Okay, let's see what the, oh Jesus, what is this? I feel like that's a face of something. So I'm gonna say this is an animal, but I don't feel it. Like, oh, there's sort of feet. No, that's not really, well. You turn it around. That's like a shoe. But this bit with the face and the nose and stuff. I'm gonna say, oh, this bit on the top makes me a little concerned. I was gonna say a bird, but there's no real beak. It's got more of a mouth. But these things on the top of the head, these four things. And so it can't be like a cow or anything because they, you know, they don't have horns and stuff. But the bottom of them is real big. What kind of animal would this be? Tall, skinny, is it a giraffe? I'll say it's a giraffe. I don't know why, but like this, because I understand giraffes have really long necks, but <laughs> there's no other, like, it doesn't have any body. It's just, it would be just like neck and face, and then these deals on the top of the head. Yeah, I don't know, I'll say giraffe. I don't know why, but I just feel giraffe. Final answer. Go on! Is that right? And, how, and why is there no, like, is it just, I guess those are the two feet right here and here. So the reason why the giraffe feels the way it does is because it's sitting down. Oh, he's sitting down, okay, sure. I've never touched one of these before, ever in my life. <laughs> and I don't think I ever will again either. <laughs> I'm two for two, so let's try another one. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is gonna be tricky. Okay, this is um, flat. It's like this part, it's like a triangle, right? Or yeah, that's a triangle, sure. Right, with these two. And there's your vertex down there. But this guy on the top here is really throwing me this sort of cylindrical bit on top of the base of the triangle. And then, oh, you know what? I th Wait a minute, hold on a second. I think I got this. You know what I feel like this could be? I don't know why, but I feel like this could be, oh, cause I've seen paper ones. This has to be an airplane. This must be an airplane, but just a regular airplane, not like a jet but I will say that this is an airplane. Final answer. The judges cannot accept that. No, okay. Can I have a clue, please? People can go inside it. People can go inside it. And it's flat like this, huh? And people can go inside. Why, oh, I don't know. No, because that was, I was thinking a train, but that would have several parts, right? Because all the different cars and stuff. It's ridiculous, but I'm going for it. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say train. Final answer. No. What is it? All right, last clue. Oh, one more clue, okay, good. Another clue. Yep. Gravity. Okay, I have a guess. Is it the space shuttle? Oh, nice. So I see, okay, sure. But these are like wings, I guess, right? And here's the whole, wow, we. That's what the space shuttle looks like, huh? So I was close when I said an airplane. 
You were close, but I couldn't accept it. I like the judges get very good. I can't. It's not an airplane. Yep, it's not an airplane. You wouldn't call that an airplane. No, no chow. Here's the final one. Oh boy. Oh man, this is okay. I very confused. Okay, so there's this sort of bit here on the front that's kind of rounded, but the bottom is a little different. And then there's the sides. It, well, the big sort of rectangle, right? Sideways. And then there's a little square bit on the back here. Oh, I have no idea what the heck this could be. The front feels, all right, so it's a half circle, but on the front of this sort of rectangle. That's very convenient. And then there's this back piece here. It's all right, so it's not an animal. Okay, because there's no sort of discernible face on it. It's not a car or a bus or anything like that, but there's no wheels. None of it moves, it doesn't do anything. And it, it lays flat like this. It doesn't go up like that, it lays like this. Oh, wait a minute. Wait just a minute. Could this be like a, like a US state maybe? Or a country? It's pretty giant. I'll say this is the country of Australia. A 3D printing of like what the country of Australia might look like on a map. Final answer. <coughs> no. What is it? I have no clue. May I have a clue, please? It's a residence. It's a residence. Is this the White House? Final answer. Is that the White House? <coughs> it is? Holy mackerel. It's giant. So, all right, so what's this part in the front? This um, sort of half circle thing. Those are pillars, uh, part of the building. Right? Oh, pillars, sure, of course. Yep, absolutely, that makes all the sense in the world. So that's the front. Oh, this is neat, that's the White House. That was fun, that was big, big fun. We gotta do this again sometime. And I'll tell you what, now we have a mailing address. So if you'd like to send us anything, maybe I have me guess what it is, or who knows? But the uh, mailing address is right there in the description for the video. So uh, I can't wait to hear from you. Big thanks to Scott for uh, getting these objects to us. And you know what he did? He put together a video about how he made all this stuff. So check it out and let him know what you think. You can find the links for it right there on screen or in the description. Don't miss the next video when Ben brings a real giraffe in here for me to check out. <laughs> I realize you guys are gonna be curious as to why my hands shake. Well, I'll tell you really quickly, I have tremors and I've had them for a very long time and there's really not much I can do about it. So that's what the shaking's all about. <laughs> Listen, at least I don't work the camera. <laughs>